Hey there, future constables. I'm Ryan Hank. I'm one of the co-designers of the game, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what you can expect uh, from the game design, the gameplay, and some of the decisions that we made as we designed it. So, uh, first off, um, oh yeah, I'm also the, the one responding to most of the comments, I'd say, probably on the on the campaign page, so you can kind of put a face to, uh, to those comments. Um, so, first off, uh, this is the our favorite game, Clayton and I, the, our favorite game that we've ever designed. And uh, so, one of the, re I think the biggest reason is just because everyone is always playing at the same time. The game is really divided into two kind of phases. One is drafting phase, another is the event phase. So, during the drafting phase, you're getting buildings from the right, you're passing them, you're choosing which one you want to play, building them, adding hope and despair, passing them to the left, then getting more, and everyone around the table is doing that exact same thing. So everyone is doing, is, is playing the game at the same time from, from really the start to the finish of the game, because the other phase is the event phase, where you are either the constable, or you're helping the constable decide which event to be played, giving them hope, um, so passing around hope, and then just discussing what, what you think should be played. So yeah, start to finish, everyone is always playing. You're never waiting for your turn. So like, if you have someone in your gaming group who's like always checking their phone, um, you can play this game with them and they will have no opportunity to do that because there's really no downtime. Um, it's just, you know, action the whole time. So that is probably the best thing about it. Um, and, uh, from, from kind of a game design perspective, that simultaneous play. Um, another thing is uh, just the like theme and how well it comes out with the mechanics. And so you're in the Salem Witch Trials, and uh, I mean you know what that was like. You're you know you're accusing people left and right of being a witch. You're a witch. Um, you are you know like doing terrible things to the people who you think are witches. Um, and there's a little bit of that in this game. Like you are getting clues throughout so like when you get cards from someone on your right you know which cards they didn't play and when you pass them to your left uh, you know what that player had uh, available to choose from and you see what they they actually did play so you get some clues like they might have been making a decision based on their hidden character card um, to get points so you don't know for sure that they're a witch that they're adding despair to the town um, you know just to do it because they're they're a witch um, you, it might be a selfish reason, you know, which is, I mean, everyone wants to win. They might have played added despair so that they get points. So you don't know for sure, but there's clues. And then you see the discussion in the event phase too. So you know, uh, you can hear, you know, what, what arguments people are making for playing a certain event, whether they give hope for a certain event to the constable. Um, so that those are more clues that you get. You put all these clues together to, to, to take your best guess at who the witches are, but you never know for sure. So all you can really do is accuse, you're a witch. Um, and so that, that was something when we designed the game, we wanted those accusations to come out so that it really did feel like the Salem Witch Trials. And you put people on trial and you do other things to people uh, that they may have done during the Salem Witch Trials. And um, you don't know if you did it to the right person for sure. You just think all you can do is accuse. So that's one thing. And then of course, um, Andrea Olgiotti, uh, the artist, uh, he did an amazing job, of course, of bringing that to life with his art. And the, uh, the style that he uses is beautiful, but then also a little creepy. Um, and it's called Grotesque Noir is his style. And it, 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 it's just perfect for this game. It helps to bring out that feeling. So everything kind of comes together to bring out the feeling that, that we, we were hoping would, that you really feel like you're in this, the Salem Witch Trials. Uh, so that's another, another thing. Um, the last thing in general, I think, is that uh, we, it goes from three players to eight players. And there's a player, player number in the bottom right corner of every card that tells you whether it's in the game for the number of players that you have. And so that allows us to craft the experience for each number of players. So there is a deck of buildings and a deck of events that will be different depending on the number of players you have. And so it helps us just make the game work really well from such a low player count to such a high player count. 
And so you will have, you'll be able to get to this game to to the table because you're always going to have at your game night between three and eight players. Like pretty much always, you can at least find that number to play. Um, so that's another thing about the game design that 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 we 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 love so much. It makes it our favorite game that we've ever designed. Um, everything coming together like that. Um, with between first edition and second edition, we added a few things. So mainly um, new buildings, new events, more events, and the constable and the badges, uh, constable badges. So um, what? So the reason we 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 added those uh, was partly because of what we heard from feedback from first edition. Um, so when it has, it, I mean, it's been out for a while. We have a lot of a uh, lot of folks who are playing it and telling us what they liked and didn't like about it. And so one of the things was that when you the event phase can feel a little bit like a race sometimes because I might have four hope and I use it to put someone on trial, but they had five hope and they uh, wanted to do a pardon, but I got to the trial before they got to the pardon. And so that, that's um, one thing. We didn't want this to be a dexterity game, that it was just fastest player to go um, gets to play. Um, so, so that's something that we, we took out with the constable role. So now there's a constable who decides um, which events are going to be played. And you help them make that decision, and you give them hope so that they can, they can play what, what you want them to play. They say they will play. Um, so you're still involved in that, but they make that decision. And so that's one change that we made there that, that we're, we're really excited about. I think it's going to kind of resolve uh, some of those concerns that, that people had. Um, and then you, as the constable, when you play an event, you choose your successor. So you give them a badge, you give them a constable token, and they are the next constable. So everybody will get to be constable at least once in the game and, um, and, and be the one who actually makes the choice as to which event gets played. So that's one thing we really like. Um, another thing is the uh, the new buildings. So we're replacing the law and gloom buildings with justice and death buildings. And these are similar uh, to those, but they're just, I guess, a little more intense. Like they do more um, as far as adding and removing despair. So uh, one in each set is still gonna add hope. Uh, the other two are either gonna uh, immediately remove uh, a, a despair or immediately add a despair. But then at the end of the game, if you collect a set, then they're gonna add or remove three despair. So it's a big swing at the end that you can make happen. And you can make it look like, if you're a witch, that you're removing despair by playing those despair removal buildings. Like, I'm being so good, such a good Puritan. And then um, at the end of the game, you collect them all, and then you actually add a whole bunch. Like, nope, sorry, I'm a witch and then all the despairs in the town. So, um, and then of course there's the, the same, same kind of thing you can do kind of from the, the, the Puritan side, you can collect the set to remove a bunch of despair at the end. Um, so we're, we're excited about that to kind of, um, kind of increase the, the intensity of, of those buildings, make them a little more interesting. Um, and then the other thing is just the, that the, the, the events that you get to play, it was four specific events in every game in first edition which was enough for us to feel like you get to, the game still changes a lot with those four different events. Um, but now there is a different set of events in every game. There's 20 plus events, um, there's, there's, there's a bunch of events, and then you only play like maybe seven or eight of them, you might see seven or eight of them in a game. So each game that you play, you can play 100 games or more, and it, each game is gonna be different as far as which events go uh, are available to play, let alone all the kind of metagame that goes around uh, around it. So um, just that replayability is another thing that we, we love that was added uh, in second edition in the expansion. So um, those are some of the big things um, that uh, I hope it gives you some insight into the differences between the editions, um, why we made the decisions, and then a little bit about the gameplay experience you can expect. Um, but if you have more questions, please let us know. Um, post a comment, ask a question, and we absolutely love to dig into the details here about these, uh, about, about the game design decisions that, that we've made. So um, yeah, let us know. Otherwise, 
if you choose to back or not. Um, either way, um, just thanks for stopping by, taking a look at this, and taking a look at the, the campaign in the game. And I hope at least at some point you get to play this game. That is it. See you later.